Hi guys, welcome! In this video, I'm gonna show how you can transform a secure string to a string and a string to a secure string and first of all, why this secure string exists and what's the difference between these two. Well, before to do that, I just want to make it clear how this computer memory is stored. So every computer has an address. Now, the address is 64-bit because you are running on a 64 computer and basically you are just store some bits. So let's say this is my password which is stored here. Okay, and to make a bit of visual representation, I'm just gonna use this snipping tool. So let's say the password is just kept like here, right? Well, let's say an attacker, it stops the execution of the robot, it can read this password because this one is in plain text. Now what secure string does, it encrypts this one with some values. And what's most important, these values, when the password is not needed, and when the memory is actually released, this is filling with leading zeros. So we're gonna have a bunch of zeros here, like this is empty. So that's the difference between secure string and string. Now the probability to someone to hack this system is very low, you need to have access to your physical computer. However, it's a best practice and that's the reason you're gonna find passwords, you, usually it requires a secure string and not a text as a string. So going back to our robot, so how you make this conversion? Well, it's very easily. I have here a get secured credential and I'm trying to retrieve the username as a plane and I don't have a type into secure text. By the way, that's the recommended way, but instead I have a type into. So I need to convert this variable, which is by the way I have here. So this is a password where this scope is this sequence, the small one. So I need to convert this secure string to a string. How you do that? Well, I can easily do like that. So you can either with new system.net.credential system.net.network credential. I'm gonna press new. And one of the overloads, the second overload, as you can see, the first overload, it's taking a password as a string. And the second one, actually the fifth one, it's taking the password as a secure string. And the username you can still keep as a plane. So I'm just gonna leave it empty. This is an empty string. I'm gonna use a comma to access to the second variable and to the password, I can use the password. By the way, this is a secure string. And this is already in an object. It's created an object. It's of type network credential. If I'm gonna press dot, I have access to my properties from the network credential. And to the password, there are two. There is a password, which is a string, and the secure password, which is a secure string. So if I have access to the password, I can easily convert this password to my password. So let's have a look what we did here. I'm just gonna open in advanced editor. So I'm just creating a network credential, by the way I'm doing here, and then I'm access to the password, which is as a text. So if I'm gonna run this, by the way, I have a secure credential on my Windows account. If you don't know how you can do that, I'm gonna leave a link here in the description or here in the right sides of the screen. So this one, it will open the cloud. I'm already logged in, so the robot requires to have the Chrome not logged in. So I'm gonna press forget account. I have the username here, Daniel, and the password is still empty. So let's give another run. I'm gonna hit run. Okay, so we'll open Daniel and password. Okay, so I think my selector actually doesn't work. So uh, the problem is related to the target. I don't have a valid selector. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna press Control A and copy, and I'm gonna press a bunch of Control Zs because what I did, I have just replaced this secure string. Uh, so instead, I'm just gonna create uh, this copy selector. So type into, I'm gonna hit paste and copy the selector, Control A and a copy. Go in the type into, go in the paste and delete the previous secure string. And let's give another run here. Okay, Daniel, and then he's typing the password, the valid password. Now, how do you convert the other way around? Well, it's very simple. So you can use the same approach. Now, as you can see here, uh, I have two overloads, the password as a secure string and the string, and instead I'm gonna use this one uh, as a text. So for this case, in order to work, 
I'm just gonna consider uh, to have two options. So I'm gonna make uh, an assign and I'll assign and create another variable, which is named plain password. Now don't ever do that. It's recommended to create password uh, in using secure string. But for this simplicity, I'm gonna use this approach and I'll just uh, use this plain password. And here to the type into, I'm gonna use now type secure string. Type secure text, copy the selector with a copy, go on the selector and hit paste. And to the type secure text, to the secure uh, text, I have two options. I can either use my password, by the way, which is by default, but now I want to create another secure string. So I'm gonna use new system, dot net dot credential credentials network credential and to the username I'm gonna use a plane and actually I'm gonna open in advanced editor so use plane password and then dot secure password right because this is my plane password as a string and I'm trying to convert to a secure string and click OK I can delete my type into. So let's give another run to this robot and see if it works. Now, has a prerequisite to be logged out uh, to the orchestrator. So I'm just gonna close, sign in with another account. And as you can see, it's typing the username and the password, but this email and password, it's not valid. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna give another run. Okay, and now we can see that it works. Probably it was caused by some interferences with my keyboard. Now, before to close, I want to tell you that it's a best practice to limit the visibility of this variable. So that's the reason I have here the sequence. Now I'm gonna leave a link here in the description where I'm talking about uh, more details about this. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about this approach? I'm Daniel and I catch you next time. Bye.